Hi guys, I'm Tony Woods and I'll be taking you through the Sisney Guitar Method Fundamental Chord Shapes book number two. Well today guys, we are going to just do something for fun. Uh, I found that at the school, um, a lot of the students like to break out of the curriculum every now and then and uh, just do a song that they like. So today we will do When September Ends by Green Day. Uh, this one's not in your fundamental chord shapes book, uh, the book series that we're working through. So it's just kind of a break from that and from the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth string chords that we're working on. So uh, you'll have to go to the website, go to the guitarschoolofrichland.com, go to free PDFs, book number two and you can download this and uh, have it uh, exactly what I have in front of me and we'll play along together. So when September ends, if you're trying to just blaze through the curriculum and get on to book number three, you don't have to do this. We're going to do one other one after this. It's going to be um, Hot for Teacher, a, a rough version of Van Halen's Hot for Teacher. Um, so here, here it is just for fun, when September ends. You've got the tab there, it's gonna look like this. Third finger on the five, first finger on the three, it's gonna go like this. All right, for the four open three, simply use your second finger, take the third one off, put your second finger on the fourth fret, and you're gonna strum the same way. All right, the two open three, we've got to change a little bit. You're going to slide the second finger back to the two and use your pinky to grab that uh, three or your third finger. I think the pinky is easier. So you've got the two and the three. Then for the open, open three, just take the two off. Your pinky's already on the three. All right, let's try to get through that top line again. All right, guys? Third finger on the five, first finger on the three. Switch back to the second finger on the four. Slide the whole thing back to the second fret. Put your pinky on the three. Take the second finger off. Now, moving to our old C chord, the long diagonal C chord. You're just going to do the top three notes of that chord. Now, you're going to take these two fingers off and use your first finger to move back here to the first fret. So you got three, one, open, three, one, open. So the regular C chord, move back to the first fret. And then simply put your second finger on the second fret, take all the other fingers off. All right, so from the C chord, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, then we're gonna walk it down. Three, two, to the E minor. You should know this one by now. The E minor 9 there is really if you make your 5th string B power chord, 5th string B power chord, uh, we're going to call that, that's going to be the same as your E minor 9. So you'll play the 2, the 2, the 4, the open, open. Go to a C chord, play all four notes in the C chord. Then we've got a G. For the F sharp, you can take all the fingers off, move your first finger to that second fret. And that's gonna walk you down to the E minor. E minor nine again, which is our B power chord. C chord. D chord. D7, and a G chord. 
Okay, guys, now keep in mind, it may not be exactly like the original song because we're just trying to incorporate this so that it uses some of the same chords that we've been practicing in the Sisney guitar method. So I'll play through the whole thing one more time with you. Good luck. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you next lesson.